Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Sir Henry's Haunted Podcast. I am your host, Zach Gleros, also owner of Sir Henry's Haunted Trails, a big deal. To my left, we have our executive producer, Calvin. Hey, I'm Calvin. I am um, one of the show directors out here at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. I do, do a couple things, scare a couple people. Just a couple things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to my right here uh, is um, our consultant, um, Josh. Yes, right. Uh, you know, I'm always consulting you know, on Zach's crazy ambitions and plans and telling him how terrible they are <laughs> and telling him not to do them. And so then eventually, you know, I kind of tell him, hey, just let Lindsay do it. Josh's role just creates more work for people at Sir Henry's without actually doing the work himself. Yeah, it's fantastic. I just kind of throw it off on other people and hope that, you know, eventually it gets done because I don't just come. And yeah. then you get mad at everyone when they call you 14 times on how to yeah. complete this crazy or idea. Or 21. So I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Um, anyway, so why we are bringing to life Sir Henry's Pond and Podcast is because Calvin kept beating me down and I, fi- I finally gave in. I'm a big podcast guy. Um, no, but kind of true, mostly true. But really, we wanted to have a platform that we, Sir Henry's, could talk to you guys, our fans, our listeners, whether you're be in Plant City or out in Oregon. Shout out to you, Devin. Um, we wanted to to give you a behind the scenes look into the 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 planning, the construction, the 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 camaraderie uh, to all things Sir Henry. Talk about all the cool, exciting things we've done, all the crazy stuff we've got currently going on, and all the stuff we're going to be doing in the future because our plans don't stop. With haunting so we'll we'll get into all that but on our first episode we're going to kick start it really big um we've got a, a a cool little episode here for you guys we're going to be talking about um our new one of our new exciting trails this year headless headless um it's all about the headless horseman it's our spin on the headless horseman um and i i can thank calvin and josh ironically they're both here today uh, that was planned uh, for for kind of giving the inspiration for where this trail came from. Uh, shout out to, I don't know if I can say this on air. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we can. Shout out to uh, Undead Ahead 2, Tale of the Midnight Ride by uh, Motionless and White. We've always kind of thrown around the idea of doing a Headless Horseman, and then that album came out, and we were like, Zach, you got to listen to this. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I don't like heavy metal on it doesn't float Didn't my we boat, like but beat that into his head um, this song, going up to yes New Hampshire yeah, yeah when we went up to, to northeast yeah we uh, y'all beat it into my head I'm like yeah I've heard enough now I actually have to like this yeah so, exactly that's uh, always the plan great song though if you haven't uh, uh, checked it out it's it's not one of these like <laughs> scream of things where it means nothing and it is there's no music there but the lyrics are actually pretty cool and a lot a lot of the imagery in the lyrics we kind of uh, used inside the trail so that's that's going to be a really cool thing uh but yeah the headless horseman the iconic headless horseman everybody knows the story um ichabod crane yeah there's actually no ichabod crane in our story we put our own spin on it and one of the cool things we did is um give the horseman a motivation for coming back uh in their traditional story um which it's surprising some of our some of our scare actors who are playing lead characters, I don't know if I should say this, oh, what the heck, um, <laughs> did not know the story of the Headless Swordsman. I thought this was like required reading in school. Because when I was in school, when I was in high school, I had to, I had to uh, 11th grade, I had to write a, uh, um, a, 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 a paper on a book, and I chose Sleepy Hollow because, hello, I love horror. So I guess I can make a confession now. I very only loosely know the and story of Sleepy Hollow. here's a prime example. Um, I remember watching the show. There was a show, or was it a movie? I'm pretty sure it was a Sleepy Hollow show, like a oh, long yeah, time ago. Oh, yeah, on Fox or something. Yeah, Fox. I very, like... CW38 or something? Like <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I very... <laughs> briefly skimmed through that show and i think that's we really i sad. started watching that show and it just got got a little weird for me Probably, I, like, I would uh, think i was young well, if I you know. like it they hey, whatever go for you but uh well, like trash to me Whoa. but anyway Oof, shout um, out to that yeah anyway uh so basically if you don't know the story that has horseman um a, a revolutionary war general for the british a hessian soldier uh got his head blown off by a cannonball and he comes back in ghost form looking for his lost head and chases people and cuts their heads off. That's 
that's just and then the the, the Washington Irving story. Um, it's Ichabod Crane who he kind of haunts, and then the story sets it up as is this real or is this somebody playing a ghost to chase Ichabod off so he won't get the hot girl? You know, it's kind of up for grabs. In our story, um, it is an actual ghost, but the reason he comes back from the dead is not just to cut people's heads off, but he's keeping guard over his hidden buried treasure, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. We talked a lot about how we were going to switch the story. We, we did, and for, for those who might be interested in where I took the inspiration from, because I think you guys would, would appreciate that, uh, actually, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly uh, is where I kind of got the little motivation for that, because that whole thing's a treasure hunt, essentially, for lost gold and a grave. Since it's confession time, never seen that movie either. Mm. This is actually True Confessions by Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, that's true what it is. Live. Not a podcast. Um, so, wait, wait. Who's the good? Who's the bad? Who's the ugly? That's for you, the viewer, to figure out. I think it's be pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. He's yeah, the... definitely the ugly over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. As good long looking. as you know your place. <laughs> and the bad hair. Um, okay. Listen, listen. No, but so so that's our story. That's our setup for this trail. It's so if if any of you guys have come out to our event before, you know our our trails. And just to give you people new 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 viewers a uh, quick rundown we have three haunted trails it's all outdoors in the woods uh something makes us very unique sets us apart here in central florida in plant city uh we also have two escape games that's new for this year we have two we'll talk about that on another episode uh and then we have laser tag our whole common area as we like to call it but our main bread and butters are three haunted trails and this trail headless will be be the one that's all the way to the left. So if you came last year, it was a nightmare. And many of you guys have, have seen and loved the whole village scene. That's this trail. We have all like the rustic pioneer huts and everything in here. It's our full on like through the woods, woods. classic yes. trail. That's what everybody loves. Oh my gosh, it was in the woods. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We know. Um, but yeah, the village scene, which a lot of you love near and dear, that was in this trail. We'll come... Uh, February, we took a excavator to this and completely demolished it. And I, I posted this picture on our social media. And a lot of people were upset, but I'm like, I'm so glad to see this pile of rubble yeah, gone. I mean, I mean, look at this. It's, I mean, it was old. It was deteriorating. It was time for an upgrade. Well, you know, it's just the same thing with the mansion. Yes. You knock that down, and everybody's like, what are you going to do? Yeah. And then you come back bigger. Let's better. just sidetrack for a quick second, because last year, 2021, yeah, that's right, um, we 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 took on a lot. We took on a lot, and actually, all our all our renovations have been a have turned into a two year project that'll be completed this year, just in time for our tenth anniversary next year. I wonder what we're gonna do. <laughs> um, so um, anyway, uh, we we did the mansion, and and that was that was uh, that sentimental value to me. That was built our third year. Yep, twenty sixteen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and we we knocked that down. Josh was driving the excavator, and that thing would not budge. As, so, much, as much as it looked like it wanted to fall down, it did not want to fall down. I th- literally the excavator went backwards several times, and I was a little scared for my life. I'm pretty sure and you got airborne there for a minute. The did, best part was the uh, fire extinguisher that fell out, and um, oh, yeah. I had no idea where that came from. <laughs> so glad they didn't bust yeah, inside I, 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 of the I, cab with me. Yeah, I was just, like, Is she gonna blow? And but the you know it, every time I went up there to do work to fix something, I was like, oh, this thing's gonna fall. There's it no was, way. It was it. sketchy. And, and took, then I go to push on it, and nothing. It yeah. was a good hour of me trying yeah, to get that thing at down. At least, and finally, it just kind of slowly says, ah. I yeah, there up. was like you can have it. <laughs> what time were we out there till? Because everybody else left. It oh no, we you. started at seven a.m. that day, and we didn't get finished till probably midnight. Yeah, and there was like a good 10, 15 of us there, like anticipating the fall of yeah. the mansion and ended up taking that. I've got like six minutes of video on my phone that was just Yeah. Just, just, just. But anyway. We uh we uh so we knocked that down and people were like, Oh my god, the mansion, what are you gonna do? Well, let's show you what you're gonna do. We're gonna build a ginormous uh three plus story on a facade. Oh picture on screen for those watching yeah, the we video. Built, so we built this uh, I think we talk about that next episode. Uh, so tune in to that. But yeah, so we did that, you know, we did the whole renovation with our third trail. We did a lot, but we we took the excavator to trail one finally because it was time. 
and uh, we knocked it down, and uh, it, was a, it was a happy moment. Before, now, before we get too far into this, I, I do want to mention to you guys, um, if you're listening to just the audio version of this, we're going to be showing uh, tons of pictures of uh, especially like next episode and this episode of new stuff and old stuff. Um, so get over to YouTube and you'll see the whole video. Um, yeah. Cool. Just continue. So yeah, so that's where the plan started. We knew what we wanted to do. Um, and so shout out to Lindsay, our, our main scenic artist. Her and I sat down and I had some initial ideas and she had some ideas too. And we set out to create... Uh, just an incredible, one of a kind, unique. It's not even a village anymore. It's a, it's a city. It's a city. It's, it's a whole town. It's a whole town. We got the butcher shop. We got the church. We got a great, or it's actually, a, it's a graveyard. Um, More on that we, later. Yeah. Um, we've got the the, the courthouse. We've, and for those of you who are Sleepy Hollow fans, we got the cover bridge. We got the... The horse. There's so much. The tavern. I I, I can't even want to give it all away because there's so much. Going. So we sat down. And for those of you who follow us on Instagram, I did throw out a, a teaser image of this 3D modeling rendering uh, Lindsay created uh, that was mapping out everything. So we did that. Awesome. And then we started building. And um, you can see some of our build pictures right here. Um, you know, we started framing everything out, and the, the cool thing we did on this too that um, we we you know haven't done so much or haven't got a chance I would should say to do a lot of before is so we got to play with height. You know, we play with enough height on the mansion, hmm. uh, but that was really our first toes in the water, and then now we know. We well, can do you it. were there for the year he decided to put a. Uh church steeple up in the back of the... I wasn't there for the build, but I was no, there for that the year. The church steeple in 2017 remains the most challenging thing I've ever done. And we'll probably talk about that at some I don't, point. I don't know. What, what, how does that compare to the extension cord pulling the top of the lighthouse up, Zach? Uh, oh, that's all I got! That's all I got! <laughs> uh, dude, when that when you don't want to run to Home Depot to buy rope, you just use old extension cords to pull top supply house more on that on episode two <laughs> like we said there's so much content here to dive into and just peel back the nasty layers and everything isn't it? but yeah so we got to play with not just height but we there's some really cool architecture uh on this trail you know we've got dormers we've got little uh colonial style uh villages and everything else uh really cool stuff um is there anything in particular that inspired you and Lindsay's vision like i don't because i don't think we used yeah that's a good question we used a lot of reference pictures um i had never seen uh sleepy hall the johnny depp movie until this year actually and i was like yeah i better watch it uh the the style in there that kind of gray gloomy style um is is what i say kind of inspired it but any kind of like colonial williamsburg um even some like Peaky Blinders aspect, which if you haven't seen Peaky Blinders, please watch that. So it's a great show, Calvin. Yeah, yeah. Um, Josh, it's on the list. I'm going to educate you this on this podcast too about entertainment medium. What we recommend. When oh, I say gosh. we, I mean me. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah no one knows good movies like Zach. No, they sure don't. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, but to me, it's uh, to the ignorant. It's pretty. It's a lot of like old London. Yeah, low, old on London too, kind of alleyway, and I actually. Most of these ideas that you guys see now are ideas I had like three or four years ago. Uh, the the fishing wharf quick story that we brought to life last year in 2021 was actually an idea I had uh, back in 2018 when me and my wife were visiting a small little town up in the coast of Washington State. And we went whale watching and they had like a, a fishing wharf village there. I'm like, you know, it'd be pretty cool and original to do um, a haunted fishing wharf. Yeah. So the three years to that idea, which that's directly where that inspiration came from, just so you guys know. Pretty much all, all I could do is if I take my phone and I start going through photos of when he goes on vacation, yeah, yeah. I that's going to be a trail forecast soon. it in three years and be like, yeah. oh, yeah, I should probably save this, but like put a tag on it. But yeah, he's 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 not lying about this whole three years thing because yeah. he'll 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 bring something up to me tomorrow and then. We'll, 
me and Josh would just drill into his head. We're like, that's a good idea. Because, that's a great idea. Because we need I, to do that. You said the London thing, but I had, I, like three or four years ago, I had the idea, it would be really cool to do like a whole London city street set. And here we are today. Let's, let's you know, look at some more pictures here. You can see kind of the construction, the facing going but on. Let, let, let's pause on that construction here. Let, who built all this in like two days? Built what? This this village. So, you. Oh, you. well, yeah, I... Uh, I... Well, let's let's. Here's the big thing. I thought you were calling let's, him out on let's something. Let's show I, a picture of the kind of stuff I used to build, real quick. Let's I throw mean, something there's on. here's a year one image. Oh <laughs> man, you, do you you don't Which know one? the amount of heartache that I would go through when he would rough. say, "Hey, can you come fix this? There's not something right." Oh my word, he has come leaps and bounds. And yeah, then I would get from, a lecture on. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, even from when I first started, oh, yeah. um, th- his third Zach's third year being open to now is it's just night and day because he spends so much time out there by himself. Yeah, it's forcing himself to learn how to build my, basically. Uh, my really good relaxation meditation. Zach had twins, so, so this is his new. It's been a rough year. Escape. <sighs> Try not to talk about that on this show. I uh, don't know. Uh, uh, kids are great. Shout out to Thomas Lutz. Hey, I, I love, <laughs> hey, I, I like his kids. His kids are cool. They're cute. Uh, now, um, anyway, now. yeah. <laughs> so, so we did some really cool architecture, and I'm like building this. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna save the dormers. I'm gonna save the second store. I'm gonna save the roof. I hate roofs. Hate building roofs. I'm gonna save all this for Josh. Well, I just got one day. I'm like, ah, screw it. I'm gonna figure it out myself. Now, I, although to Lindsay's credit, she had plans down to a T, which helped me out greatly. Thank you, Lindsay. Which is something that, which probably is yeah. helping you to build better <laughs> because, because years and years ago we didn't yes. have. Well, that. there's that. You just sent me that meme, or somebody sent me that meme. Yeah, it was... of the the haunted house or construction thing, and they're like, "Oh, this is what we want," you know, parking garage yeah, it was... and steel beams, and it's a picture. A kid, five year old. We might we might put school. it up, but it's yeah, basically like, it it's basically a bunch of construction guys with a picture of a house, that and they're like three year old talking. Drew. Yeah. Oh well, uh, don't worry. That's what he did with the mansion. He but was that's like, kind of. Eh, yeah, he'd go. This is what I want. And I'm like, okay, you got any plans? Yeah, it's going to be this tall. Okay. And, and that's the thing. It's like we're, we're out there trying to help him build. And it's like, what do you want? And he's like, no, I, I, it's all in it's his all head. here, guys. But now that Lindsay's here and she can draw it out, everyone can see it and everyone can help build. Do you know how many times I had to hear about how that mansion looked like the Pizza Hut? <laughs> oh, my God. For so many nights. The I new one? To... or the Yeah, old no, the, the new, new one. one. Oh. Yeah, it's a pizza. I want a large cheese pizza. And a the trusses dresses. are wrong. I said, well, if you wanted to build the trusses, you should have built them yourself. So I let it go, and now it looks great. It looks great. So, yeah, so we, we can see, you know, we've, we've got balconies and stuff out there. You can see the courthouse there in the middle. Um, awesome stuff. The church, you saw that. Um, so so it's it's pretty. That trail one, you know, this is middle of August right now. Uh, we're about, I'd say, 80% done on this trail, which is awesome. Yeah, a lot of the lighting's up. Probably most, of, if the, not all, the sound of the will be done. It's already done by the time you're hearing this episode. So that's awesome. Yeah, but so let's, let's talk about the church. So years and years ago, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. years and years ago, you built your first church. What was yeah. the, what was the dimensions? Well, no, of that? no. You say the first church. Calvin don't even know. Oh, yeah, man. I don't. My first so, church. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pop an image of the first church up here. Mm. Um, look mm. at this is year one, 2014, and tune in to episode two. We're gonna dive more into this. This this is the first church. It's not even a church. It's two one piece of plywood cut in half with a with a triangle top and a cross. Wait, okay? really? Yeah, Hold no. on. Oh, I, gotta, oh. I gotta find this picture. Oh. This is rough stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, look how good this is. Listen, a, this, this is a church. This is right the, uh, I had, me. We had a. <laughs> tag phrase for what we were called back then we were the black plastic mother oh because that everything that but it's true yeah. everything was black plastic you had to put but to it to no your plywood credit, no nothing. that's where everyone starts really. not everyone we didn't we'll talk about this you're getting ahead calvin we're gonna talk right, about this right. not Next. everyone starts with just a a million dollar han okay we had yeah. humble beginnings tune in episode two but anyway that was the first church you want to talk about first church that was the first church now 2017 rolls around uh, we take it up a notch. The first real church. The that first you real walk church. Into. It was. I was pretty proud of it. It was legitimate. You had could, some cool windows. Yeah, we, and... we had cool windows. Um, I liked it as a cause, as a guest because that was the first and, year I came as a guest. And it was it was tall. I think the peak was uh, probably close to 18, 19 foot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, and then you know we we had, we had trimmed it out. There weren't any windows in the front, which now there are. Um, 
And what was it? it was and like, it was it was long too. It was like thirty foot foot thirty two foot long. Was and, it really? Yeah, we oh. had pews and a little altar in there. It was cool. It was cool. Uh, oh, we gotta talk about those pews. The the ones that was in the finale of Trail Two years ago that we went to the abandoned field. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Anyway, moving getting ahead of ourselves again. It's like we said, we have so much content, dude. You um, guys have no idea. So so we stopped using that church and. Uh, 2020 when we cut that trail down uh because we wanted to give guests more bang for their buck essentially with the scares because it was so long i mean y'all remember what episode two this trail was long and it was kind of leaning after what storm was that oh uh, we had Ur- hurricane hurricane irma came through and uh it, it, we, we were it was good because we didn't really have any damage but the church was leaning a little bit so 2020, we we stopped using it, and uh, it's it's actually still back there. It a, still stands partially it's a ghost. Um, as, as it's Angel kind says. of a creepy part of the yeah, trail. As Angel yeah, says, people have been going back there in years. Yeah, as in this area hasn't been touched in years. Shout out to Angel; he does the most. Um, but yeah, so I actually managed that trail back then, and yeah, the it, it was so hard to keep track of all the actors. It's because such a big space. That whole trail was like half a mile three quarters of a mile. it was a long trail yeah, it was it was over, it was over and so the church and that whole backwoods area was all the way in the far back so there would be like two actors back there just completely isolated so that's in the mosquitoes yeah in the mosquitoes yeah so that was a big reason why we cut that trail literally in half and but it kept the same amount of time with the less yeah well it was well, you rerouted it and made it yeah you know put a lot more and it kept the actors more together it gave uh, certain actors more spots to it worked people. out for everybody the it was, actors, it was the guests, us yeah everybody benefited from that and this year that trail is probably about three it's, times it's, longer it's long with the same footprints so with you guys are in for it's it it's long yeah I get winded I was walking that thing yeah um, but anyway oh. so you the can't church. be as winded as year one oh, yeah man. no so two, two. <laughs> um, yeah so we, let's talk about this church so we had uh, thrown around the idea last year hey I should build a church this year and Josh the consultant was like, "No, nah, save it for next year. We're not. We're not going to do that this year. You already done too much. Save it." So I'm like, uh, do we want to talk about why this church idea got stuck? Well, in the so yeah, absolutely. So uh, haunted overload uh, is one of my favorite haunts, just because they're kind of a similar, and it's not a similar stuff, but they're outdoor. They're an outdoor haunt, um, and the 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 stuff they do with their structures and buildings. Both Calvin and Josh, we took a trip up it's, there. To see it, mind it's my, the artistry behind it, Eric. You guys, team. If you ever listen to this, it's um, it's one of our favorite. Yeah, we favorite. we absolutely love you guys, and uh, if um, it cannot be imitated, and yeah, we are not trying to imitate it. I mean, you uh, get the height. Of, I mean, they're on a mountain, so you yeah. get all yeah, these different height yeah. changes. And you ha- you're in the northeast, or that right there is automatically yeah. you're at the top. So so, but we we they had built a, ch- a church scene recently, I think a year or two before, and we went and saw him. When we saw it in the daytime, it was awesome. It was yeah, awesome. it was great. But when we went at night, that was our favorite scene, it, and our jaws just dropped. It escalated, ex, ex escalated, escalated by, by like ten tenfold. It was it was amazing. And I I remember Josh coming out like, wow. Yeah, I think we all like had to pause for a second <laughs> after we left. Like, that's a church. It is by far the best church I've ever seen. Well, it was the lighting mainly too. The lighting, well, the and- lighting and effects. And people say, "Oh, you're going to put tr- pews in the church?" Nah, we're done with that. We're done with that. And haunted overload didn't have pews either. And, and awesome job for the. They had like statues in there, and it was just creepy. And then they had a, 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 a this like an altar. Like- and, and they had the goat head guy in there. And they had the goat head guy, and the and the altar had like a, a, a shot an actor up, and then fog rose up with yeah, it. Yeah, that that actress. If my, if for any reason you're listening to this, shout out to you. You made that scene. So uh, the church was awesome. So w- that that was like okay, we we got to bring our church because a lot of you guys have always told us like, even like early on like 2015 or second year like. Oh, that little church thing you guys did with the, the fake dummies or whatever. That was always been my favorite. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Uh, so we want to bring it back and the stuff we got planned for this year's old one is to receive. This church is freaking yeah. cool. Um, There's like six different special effects setups going on just yeah, in this church. A lot. Well, it's going to be cool. So, so yeah. But that that's that's the church. I don't get too much away. But, um you yeah. want to give you want to give the dimensions? So, the last one you said it was so 18 this tall, is, This is taller. Long. This is this is. 30 percent taller 30 percent taller. oh no I mean, no exact numbers you 30 percent taller math. do some math okay yeah, homework yeah. okay and we got windows on I mean, it's just cool it's just cool. it's 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 gonna be great it's you cool. guys you guys are gonna love it or uh-huh. hate it either one now anybody hates it uh 
Well, they're going to hate being in the Oh, well, I mean, yeah, like kids in your sling. But I think, like, the thing with, like, churches and stuff, is, especially for me, is, like, uh, Christian iconography is really cool to me to make horror stuff out of. I don't know. Maybe other people are the same way. I don't even know what that means. Like, I don't know. Never mind. Hey, moving on. <laughs> okay. You don't know the word iconography? Shout out Reese for teaching me Not that advanced enough for that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> he just did book reports when he was younger. That's all. Like Ghost. The band Ghost. Do you know what the lead singer of Ghost looks like? You know no, he does music, not know music. I listen to Calvin. Ghost looks like, <laughs> but yeah, like I don't know. Anyway, uh, so so this is this set, and even the front facade's getting. Uh, we got a picture of it up right now. The front facade is getting uh, an upgrade, and that's going to be like our tavern end scene kind of thing, because all good stories start in a tavern. Yeah, yeah. We should be in a tavern. Uh, anyway, yeah, I am yeah. in a partial tavern. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm having a great time. But this this is um, sponsored by Strangers. We're expanding on like the tavern idea this is going to be a pretty so, big scene pretty cool scene yeah but if start to finish on this trail the finale in this trail uh, oh yeah has a I forgot has a, has a, as an animatronic i'll just leave it at that uh that uh, i purchased back in january hmm, Did, have you seen it i forgot all about it oh, yeah it's, I, it's that's the life I, it's the life size I see it every day and then I, I forget yeah. about it. But it is it is it is really cool. It's, it's a cool it's, it's find. It's gonna get you. And there's yeah. You buy so many st- things and I just forget all about it. And then you're like, oh, did you see this? It looks cool. I'm like, oh yeah. Well, I guess we planned Excel about the wiring. But yeah, so this. pretty much, the, I think there's only one small building in this trail that has not been touched. There's um, yeah. The, this whole trail uh, only has one small, and and that's been touched too. It's got a new facade. Yeah. Uh, and the, and the and the 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 scares in that building will be totally different too. So, like, pretty much every year uh, we try to reimagine uh, one whole trail or, or a big portion of a trail. Yeah, yeah, everything we do is always fresh. I could not imagine being on an attraction and never changing anything year in, year out. Yeah. I mean, I don't do that. I, I said from the beginning, I don't want to be this person. I don't want to do it. I, I, I said we got to change. We got to stay fresh because that's what the guests want. And that's I, what you deserve. I think like five, four or five years is a good time yeah. frame for a, a set or even a trail to stay it, the same. So like yeah. the village was up for five yeah. years. But it's, we we did so much within that. Exactly. So it's added. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And it's enough for people to be like, oh, it's the it's yeah. the village, but it's it's not long enough for them to be sick of it. Exactly. Same and with the mansion. Yeah. And even though we just did this huge remodel and it's going to be here for five six years. Every year is going to be different. Yeah, you're not absolutely. going to have the same flow. But even, well, I mean, especially especially that scene because we have we have so many ideas the, for the village, the mansion too. How many times have you talked to me about building out the sides and doing different? Oh stuff well, there? yeah. That, well, I that's, thought I thought you originally got you did didn't you expand it at one point? Well, from on, the the on original the one, the original one, the original yeah. one, yeah, was ooh, yeah it was plywood. Well, no, but I'm saying, windows. didn't you guys add on to it or no? Well, it's coming. Well, no, time. you're you're talking about the the, newest the original one. mansion, the first mansion. Oh yeah, no, you yeah, guys the added original more flats. Twenty sixteen right? was uh, I think twenty four foot wide, and then in twenty twenty eighteen we expanded it to thirty two foot. Okay, wide. yeah. So so once you put up all the plot, of yeah, the twenty eighteen. Uh, yeah, yeah, because the lights. exit. Like we like, did that, and the lightning storm nailed by we screwed it all in. We didn't even have a nail gun at that point. Oh, dude, see. Yeah, that was another upgrade. I had to convert you from screws. That to and the paint yeah. sprayer. Paint sprayer is. Mm. Yeah, Speaking of paint and paintings, oh, uh, well, this guy. I got I got a point here I want to talk about because I think it's cool for you guys to know. So you talked about lining earlier, Cal, and a lot of lining is done. You can see a little bit in some of these pictures here. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do with the lighting, and I, this is just a little cool artsy thing, because whatever. Um, I wanted to to do with the headless trail um, with the lighting. And make it feel like you're in an old time headless horseman painting. Because there's a lot of like 1700s, 1800s paintings where you see like your oranges and blues and the headless horseman like on the drawbridge or the, the cover bridge and, and you know, the, the woods and the trees and the foliage. Well, we're from Florida. We don't have, you know, all this foliage. So when you go through this trail, it's going to it's gonna look and feel like you're in one of these old timey paintings, which I think is. Yeah, we, we spent a lot of time making it feel vintage and we're using colors that we haven't used before yeah and it almost yes. makes it feel like more intense like we spent uh, I, sp- I spent probably three days just figuring out the texture and color of one light yeah for this trip because that's how important it is like this is not something we just ah it looks cool let's just throw it up yeah 
you know? And this is this is a big reason why we want to do this podcast and talk about the stuff we do because a lot of people are um, – like they don't understand like everything that goes into this. I know at least for me, like yeah. when I'm like, oh, I have to go to the trail and it's May. People are like, well, what are you doing at the trail? Yeah, that's a big misconception. Oh, it's it's August. And you're already building. Yeah, it's yeah. August. We're already it's, freaking out. <laughs> it's August. Yeah, it's um, June. You guys are pulling wire in June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah unfortunately, <laughs> it's a little hot and I'm pulling <laughs> wire. But so yeah, so uh, it, it gives you guys a. An, an, uh, a bigger picture almost so, so speaking of which um if yes. anyone's out there listening and you have a uh coach line or a chandelier you'd like to donate oh yes yeah we will always accept always. donations of light fixtures Lights. i don't care how they look if they don't look care. terrible that's even then better it adds to it that's light natural fixtures. distressing you can't get that we, we love our light get... fixtures yeah. light fixtures or or lighting freaks geeks or whatever you want to call yeah them. we spend a lot of time on lighting and like a lot of people that kind of just like flies under the radar but good lighting uh, makes it true. Makes it. It, it. You guys don't understand Calvin how much fr- more intense the lighting makes it. Calvin freaked out when I told him the price I paid for uh, one little light on the top of the building. Oh, uh, the, not the because light. Because it made the it. The hanger. The hanger that the no, light was No, it was on. a whole it was Oh, a, it was the I whole got, I got the set. Oh, I thought it was just the hanger. I'm like, you spent <laughs> that on that? No. But it's worth it. Is because. there a picture? There has to be a picture. Uh, if you go to the nighttime picture, we'll put that up right now. Um, oh, yeah. You yeah, you see a little light see at the top. Of All the way to the top left, that <laughs> little uh, light. It's worth it, though, because cause oh, that yeah, little ambiance is, makes you – it completes the look of it. Yeah, you we, see the oh, light? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. I forgot all it, about that. I was like, shape. what is he talking about? It's about the shape. Godfather. It's uh, 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 If you guys watch um, The Offer on Paramount Plus, I think, um, there's a, about the making of The Godfather. Uh, the Francis Ford Coppola the director says, it's a certain shade of yellow uh, Michelangelo used, or somebody when he was painting the, or whatever, the Sistine Chapel, or whatever. But that's what this is. It's a certain shade of yellow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so it, mm, we tough. always go for atmosphere. Yeah. It's a big thing, especially in Trail 1 and the common area, and this is yeah. super atmospheric. So speaking of atmosphere, this is the last kind of thing I want to talk about to wrap up. Oh, headless. yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually got a chance to visit with my wife, the Sleepy Hollow, the actual town. It's called Terrytown, actually. Uh, in New York City. I did not know that. 20, I, well, I, I went to Terrytown, Georgia, and it was not the same thing. Not quite. Where's it at? Um, it's only about an uh, hour, hour and a half outside of New York City. Oh, oh yeah. it's in New York? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Halloween had fallen on a day that we weren't open. Uh, so we decided to fly up there and uh, because check it out because I always wanted to go. And so we flew up there just for the night. And um, we, the first thing we did was explore the cemetery, the actual Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. You got the old Dutch church there. Which was different than I was expecting. It's like all made out of stone and like the church shells the... and that kind of old time. Yeah, the church. Okay. It's a unique shape, but I guess that's why it's Dutch. I don't know. Uh, but that's like the first thing you see when you go in the graveyard. And the graveyard is huge. It's one of the biggest. Is it a graveyard or a cemetery? Okay, so that's our fun fact of the day. What's our difference between a cemetery and tr- a graveyard? Do you guys know? I don't, but can I guess? Yeah, but do you know? Of course you don't. Of course not. So <laughs> I'm think, uncultured over here. I think that I have no idea. I think a graveyard mm-hmm. is uh, like self-contained by itself. It's just a yard that has either like unmarked graves or, you know, I don't know. But uh, a cemetery might be connected to a church. So it's the else. exact opposite. A graveyard is, is connected to a church. A cemetery is a plot of land where people are buried. Uh, and, and like, the, but the graves are still oh. like and everything. Was Mount Tabor... Mount Tabor. Yeah. What the hell is Tabor? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, the 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 is my call. <laughs> the one we went to in um, Salem. That was a cemetery. That was a cemetery. Yeah, the one there was no hill. church. Uh, yes, yes. So, so yeah. So I've been to Salem. I've been to Sleepy Hollow. Salem gets a lot of like press because it's Salem. Oh my God, Salem. Salem is, and y'all both been there. Salem is so touristy. Yeah. I was disappointed the first time I went to Salem. Now, the Witch Museum is cool and everything. It's like Orlando. Uh, but it's definitely a tourist trap. Sleepy Hollow. There was a lot of great uh, GPS for directions from you in Salem. That's, that was oh, always dude. fun. Those roads. Boston. If you guys have never been to the Northeast or like New Hampshire, the roads there Get are Get in the right lane to turn insane. left. Insane. Uh, it's rough. But anyway. Um, I like Salem, though. I, eh, it's whatever. Sleepy Hollow is 
the place to go. Okay, it's that's Halloween. I, I mean, it might have been a little skewed because I went there on Halloween, but um, wait, oh, so that's actually wait, you went yeah, on no, Halloween. Yeah, let me tell my story. Let go me tell ahead. my story. All right, go ahead, so go we ahead, go, go to the graveyard, and it's a big grave, a huge graveyard, bigger than the one in, in Salem, which is saying the old old burial hill, which is a really cool cemetery. Um, but we're in this graveyard. And it's cool. It's got all the so much different architecture. And we saw the grave of Washington Irving, who wrote Sleepy Hollow. Uh, but the whole time, the feeling I got from this town, and I have my own religious beliefs or whatever, but I, I'm a little stitches, a little stitches. Uh, the, I kid you not. I kid you not. The feeling I got from this town was like, this place is haunted. Like, when I went to Salem... Uh, it's whatever. It's an old, an old town. It's like they try and convince you that Salem is Yeah, haunted. exactly. Sleepy Hollow's haunted. And I I would not doubt for a second that there's an actual ghost that's a headless rider on a horse. That's the vibe I got. I can't make this up. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, we have a headless trail. Are we going to have a headless horseman? Are we going to have a live horse? Are we? Do you think Sir Henry's, our ninth season, would do a headless horseman trail without a live horse? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think he would. That's some year one stuff, man. Yeah. We got a so, live horse. Absolutely. Live horse. You heard it here first on the Sir Henry's Hunter podcast. Live horse at the event. So I go through this cemetery. I'm like, man, in this whole town, I'm like, this is, this. there's something here. This, this is creepy. Like, So what was cool, too, is that when it got dark, me and my wife um, drove around the neighborhoods and got to see the kids trick-or-treating. And I love that stuff because it's so nostalgic and it's so vintage Halloween. Because Florida has no Halloween culture. And I'll talk about this nearly on every podcast. Because yeah, we don't have seasons. We don't have seasons either. It's hard to get into the spirit. We Same have with a, like we Christmas. Have a, we have a party culture, Halloween culture. Which is why you kind of see the th- big theme park events are what they are. Because that's the Florida Halloween culture. That's, that's not an opinion. That's it's that's pretty. If you just much look it at it from above, from a bird's yeah. eye view, that's because exactly if you go to something in the Northeast, that's the, that's their lifestyle, man. This they Halloween. Yeah, and that's and it's like that everywhere. Like every section of the United States has a culture for haunted houses. So like the Midwest, I've done a couple of Midwest haunts that are all just like rock shows, super loud, yeah. intense, and, and that's like, cool in its own regard. Yeah, and then down here it's like the party haunts, and then you go up to new. Uh, like the Northeast, like we're talking about, that's very, very atmosphere, classic Halloween, which is what our inspiration is. Yeah, obviously. exactly. Everything we do at Sir Henry's is is, is classic um, Northeastern Halloween, which is odd because I didn't grow up here. I've been born and raised in Florida. But I just love that style. I love it. Yep. So so that was really cool. And so everything I experienced in, 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 in Sleepy Hollow, I'm bringing in to Headless and everything we've done from the lighting to the sound to the sets and everything. So hope you guys enjoy this trail. Um, so yeah, I did some, um, I think, I think we're ready to wrap up. Yeah. Uh, you guys got anything else you want to no, I'm, pre- I'm, sure. I'm, 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 I'm amped for episode two cause I got the, lost. Episode stuff. two is where we're going to really start to <laughs> get involved. I think it's we're going to blow the curtain's mind over here. Yeah, so. He doesn't know any of this stuff from when Zach was in college and we're going oh, to Walmart yeah. at like <laughs> five in the afternoon trying to find a costume yeah. for me. But, uh, yeah, so. This was the Sir Henry's Haunted Podcast. So her exclusive, our first episode, your first look at Headless, all the renovation uh, renovations we've done for 2022. I was almost going to say 20 or 21. Uh, but yeah, 2022, it's going to be an awesome year. Uh, tickets will be on sale if they're not already on sale. Sir Henry's Haunted Trail.com. 16 select nights this season starting September 30th through November 5th. Do not miss this event. Please tell your friends about this because we truly take pride in everything yeah we this because we put so much heart and effort into this it. is passion um and we only we didn't just touch headless this year we we every single trail uh including the common area oh, and yeah, the two no. new escape rooms everything is yeah. has been uh altered this year and this way. crazy fool wants to build out two more things and i said oh this is for next year three. He, goes, he goes no i'm getting we it still done got in a couple weeks three. Yeah. and i was like um <laughs> three so i guess i need to take some time and yeah. push it to yeah. you uh yeah you did you know wait yeah. till football season so <laughs> i'm sick <laughs> i'm sick <laughs> So, yeah, no, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for joining the first episode. Make sure you like, share, do whatever you can uh, to push out the podcast on whatever avenue you are listening. Make sure you tune in next week as we will have a new podcast out for you every week. Thanks so much. I am Zach Calvin, and for Josh, we'll see you next time. See you guys.